Hey guys, it's Turner4590, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure DX. Oh man, it's been, what, almost two years since uh, I posted Sonic Story? But that's what computer issues will do to a guy. So, without further ado, let's finally start Tails' story. I very much apologize for the uh, the wait, but I literally couldn't record any more. Um, also, you'll notice that the video quality and the audio quality is uh, better, Everything's so great. that's always a plus. All systems go full speed ahead. Uh oh, what's this? Facial movements in this game are so terrible. <laughs> no! Look out, we're about to crash. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I I don't think they uh, say that in Tales Story. It's only in Sonic Story. I don't think a plane can spasm like that. <laughs> And Tails, of course, he, he fucks up. But, but this is... Is it chronologically one of his first uh, appearances? Because, like, he gets more competent as the series goes out. Like, he's very competent in uh, colors, for instance. Except, well, except for the translator gags, but that's not his fault. That's the writer's fault. <laughs> oh, God. Oh god, this cutscene? Do I have to watch this cutscene again? Uh, yeah, I... I'll still show the cutscene, even though... Sonic Adventure DX has a weird thing where... To make all the stories different... And if, if you can't hear what they're saying, just read the subtitles. This cutscene... Wow. He, has, he has a Chaos Emerald. Big quote. But the, the weird thing they did for uh, to make all the cutscenes unique is that they are they basically took each cutscene and got out a thesaurus and just rewrote the cutscene using words that basically mean the same thing. So like like Eggman will say like I think the most memorable one is Eggman when he introduces the egg carrier. Like, in Sonic's he'll say, Behold my floating masterpiece! And in, uh, like, Tails' story, for instance, I, uh, this is just, I don't know which story he says for each one, but he says, like, My, uh, my flying fortress! So, like, he just keeps saying different things. Okay, this is Tails. Um, he's not as fast as Sonic, obviously, but he can do this! Oh! And, uh, also, uh, you can, uh, glitch yourself into, into Emerald Coast if you, uh, do that, and you can fly around here. It's really fun. But you can only make it through one level. Okay, this is Tails' story. This is, um, one-third the length of Sonic's story, I believe. Sonic's story is easily the longest story in the game. Uh, also, when you're, uh, playing as Tails, make sure to go over here right away, because you can get a special power-up! Uh, through heat... no. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Look, it's your jet anklet. It's jet power <laughs> makes you fly faster. It's the jet ank. It's your. J it's your jet anklet, which implies that you've once owned this jet anklet before, but then someone stole it and put it in the uh, upper room of the sewer. Uh, we... I believe we go to Mystic Ruins. Uh, right away. Uh, also, there should be an emblem up here. Yep! I'm not going to be collecting emblems, because emblems are useless, because they're for the crappy-ass mission mode of this game. I did not like mission mode in this game. It's just too cumbersome. Uh... Sonic Adventure 2 did missions a lot better. They are all on a screen for you to select, instead of being in a giant hub world for you to find. And here's the first boss well, already. Well, well, if it isn't Sonic and Tails. 
See, like, in, in Sonic, he's like, oh ho! If it wasn't Sonic! Calm down, dude. Yeah, right, Dr. Eggman. I love how he just learns to accept his name is Eggman and he'll never get rid of that name uh, after a while. Epic saxophone. Is that saxophone? I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, looks just as crappy as any of your other robots you've made. Okay, yeah, come on, start the fight, Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and avoid singing along because this is one of those games that just has a catchy as he catchy as hell soundtrack. And unfortunately, being a Tails, you do not have the homing attack, so you cannot just spam the hell out of it and kill him basically instantly like you could in Sonic Story. Thankfully, this is the last time we'll have to fight this boring, boring boss. It's not, it's not boring, it's just, after you've played this game as much times as I have, it gets really boring. Or seen as much playthrough as I have. Oh yeah, since I did, uh... I recorded this uh, Sonic story. I've watched yet another playthrough. Uh, quite a lot of playthroughs, actually. And I'll probably end up quoting a lot of those playthroughs because, yeah. <laughs> and, oh, that was three hits already. Oh. I'm half asleep. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I could really, really. Well, I guess you fly into an exploding machine. Like, yeah, you're gonna get damaged, but. Usually not. This game is, uh... Knee-deep in realism. Is that the right... No, that's not. I don't know. It's realistic, troll face. <laughs> and fuck, I'm fucking with the mic now. <laughs> uh, I can just see blue blips on the screen, and I don't know if those are good blips or bad blips. <sighs> that was just too easy! Xanatos Gambit! I don't, I don't really know if that's the... Like... Is is that is that the right Xanatos uh, term to use? Because, like, he lost even though... But, but he still had a plan for even if he lost. So I think that's Xanatos Gambit. Um... I don't know. <laughs> Just look it up on TV jokes yourself. But beware, once you go on TV tropes, you can never leave. It's just as the stone tablets predicted! And soon, he will become a Charizard! Oh, see, there, there's your ultimate proof because in Unleashed, um, he says "fuck it" to Robotnik Land and just calls it Eggman Land. So, yeah, good character development, I guess, or Sega just getting lazy calling him two different names. What? It, what, what do you mean? It, um, thank goodness. Wouldn't you want them to be there? Because it's Chaos 2 right now. Yeah. Uh, Sonic can still beat the shit out of Chaos 2. <laughs> it turns. It turns out that Chaos is basically useless unless you're uh, unless you uh, have it as perfect Chaos. Apparently. Okay, and. Uh, so now we get to go to the wind, uh, windy, windy valley for uh, our first real Tails level, and then you'll get to see uh, 
how different Tails' levels are compared to Sonic's levels. After we place the magical floating statue. There you go. Wee.